Steve, my final question is, LinkedIn is becoming very much, very professional account that everyone is going there, everyone is posting, commenting, kind of you're branding yourself and you're selling yourself. But there are still some people or graduate or new graduate, they feel that LinkedIn is not for them. And especially with COVID-19, everyone is at home. I feel that this is a great opportunity to network and meet new people. So what do you say about those people who are still hesitant to create a LinkedIn profile? <laughs> yeah, um, so I, I, I'd say, why haven't you created a LinkedIn profile? Um, uh, I, I, it, it's, it's so fundamental to me. And I, I still remember when LinkedIn first rolled out and, and, and I created a profile and I remember people accusing me of being narcissistic or, or, or you know, uh, uh, that, I, that I was somehow trying to aggrandize myself. And I said, well, I, I don't see it that way. I see this as being the business card of the future. Um, and I absolutely think it has become that. Um, it, it has been become the landing page of every professional individual um, in the Western Hemisphere, I would suggest to you, um, maybe more broadly. Um, I, I told my daughter recently, who's about to graduate from college, um, you need to create a LinkedIn profile. And she said, why? And I said, because in my company, I won't even hire somebody who doesn't have a LinkedIn profile. I'm automatically suspicious of <laughs> whether they're actually in uh, a person or not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it's, to me, it, it's your calling card to the world and it, it establishes, and it doesn't even matter to me. I, I like LinkedIn profiles of college kids who don't even really have any work experience. It, it at least demonstrates that they recognize that they, they aspire to be a professional. And so they've taken an hour to create a LinkedIn profile, get a decent headshot, put it on there and talk about what their ambitions and objectives are. That to me is as good as a cover letter. Yeah, especially nowadays, like every time a recruiter, whenever they get a resume or cover letter, the first thing they go is on LinkedIn to see who this person is, how, how it looks like, or maybe on LinkedIn you have more stuff, you know, your accomplishments, your skill set, and that will help uh, the recruiter, you know, to reach out to you. It's very important. And as I said, nowadays, whenever you go, we go to a networking event, with, which we discussed previously, a lot of time people say, can I add you on LinkedIn? And it's very easy on LinkedIn to add. And I encourage everyone to have a LinkedIn page or LinkedIn profile because it also helps the recruiter to see more about you. And in terms of the cover letter, I know that we had never covered this part. So how can job seekers differentiate themselves in their cover letters? Because I feel that cover letter you can explore more in, than in the resume. What, yeah. what tips do you have for that? Yeah, you know, uh, that's a, thank you for asking that question, Mayor. Uh, um, I have, um, I have interviewed several people in my past based almost entirely upon the quality of their cover letter. Um, I, I've made the decision to, to, to interview somebody maybe in spite of the fact that their resume didn't stand up to what I otherwise would expect to fill a particular position. But I've been so impressed with with the creativity and individuality of the cover letter that I've said to myself, I'm gonna take a risk, I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna meet with this person because even if this job doesn't work out, I think I like that person. I think, I think we like that person and that person could fill some other position here potentially. Um, you, you're right, it's, it's the place where you have that space to be a little more creative and, and maybe tailoring how you're showing up or how you're presenting yourself to an employer in one industry versus an employer in the other industry. Your resume, yeah, you, you can tailor a resume somewhat, but there's not really a lot of artistic expression allowed in there. Um, so, so, so yeah, it, you know, to add some color, and, and, and I literally mean color, if there's some color involved, that pops off the page, yes. uh, or something within the first three lines that, that sort of sounds different than everybody else. And uh, thank you again, Steve, for those tips. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. And again, thank you for taking the time to answer the questions. For the audience, again, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, LinkedIn profile or cover pages, please leave it in the comment section. 
like and share the channel, uh, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, reach to us to our social platforms, and tune in next time for the, for another great interview I'm preparing for you. Steve, uh, we hope we can meet in another event when the COVID-19 ends. And thank you again, and keep in touch. You bet. Thanks All very right. much for the time here. I appreciate it. Thank you.